Gentleman from Tennessee, one minute. Thank you, sir. Firstly, the NRA put a bulletin out, urged people to vote for this. They said we must ensure that anti-gun jurisdictions do not harass travelers. That's the purpose of this bill from the NRA, that non-gun, anti-gun jurisdictions, state legislatures that have restrictive gun laws cannot harass travelers, cannot see that their state has the same laws that their citizens have from people out of state. When my friends on the other side talk about being concerned about the Second Amendment and dedicating their lives to it and seeing that irresponsible people don't get guns, when we tried to bring a no-fly, no-buy law, they weren't for it. They talked about due process. But if they brought a due process bill to the floor for people who are on the no-fly list, no. Social Security people, people on Social Security who can't manage their own affairs, they passed a law that says they should get guns when they couldn't before. That's not in keeping with what they're saying. This bill violates states' rights, puts guns in hands of people that states don't want to have it in. Seven states don't allow people under 21, unless they're in the military, to have a gun permit. This federal law would override those seven states. This is a bad law. It's the NRA's law. We should have had amendments considered in, in committee. Gentlemen's time has expired. But we didn't because the NRA didn't want them. I yield back the balance of my time.